Hey folks, as you probably all know, um, this is what's happening in Houston right now. No propane, no generators. This is after Hurricane Barrel. It's only a cat one, but it caused a lot of um, inconvenience, uh, especially for those who, does, who doesn't have any uh, power right now. And as you see here, basically the whole nation is uh, under heat advisory. And this is not Texas. I, I just want to show you guys for reference sake. Um, this is currently the temperature uh, across the nation and and this is what I want to really show you guys what I have here for testing purposes is if you have a small system just like I have I got six panels which is 100 watt each uh, so it's about 600 watts of a solar panel that I have hooked up to my uh, portable power station which is what I'm going to show you right now and this is what we're going to use for a power source for our fridge and a window AC right now it's pulling in about 300 watts it's very cloudy outside and right now the fridge is the only thing that's on at 91% um, you see here state of charge and the orange is the just my extension cord for the window AC that I got running uh, at my master bedroom and I set my temperature to 80 degrees Fahrenheit just for testing purposes and this is a small um, window AC it's only 5000 BTU it's gonna cool the enough uh, small room just enough to beat the heat and it's by no means uh, properly insulated I just installed this real quick I've had this unit for a while now a couple years but I haven't really used it so just want to show you guys here real quick and how you can use this in case of emergency so like I said this is a 5000 BTU and at this time it's about 2 uh, 2 p.m. 2 38 p.m. Uh, Thursday July 11 uh, the moment you are watching this video so the test basically is how uh, trying to see with my setup a 600 watt solar panel uh, 2000 watt uh, power station if you are something similar how long will the, will this run uh, especially during the heat and as I turn it on here uh, you can see the usage right now is about 440 it was around 700 some on the surge but it settled down to about 413 420 and I only have this setting in the medium cool and slow fan well the reason for that is I want to make sure in case of there is a power outage this is the setting that I will be using you know you want to prolong the usage as much as possible you, you don't want to freeze your room that's not the purpose of this video the purpose of this is just to show you guys that you know just to beat the heat just set it at a, a medium cool slow uh, fan so just to beat the heat outside because a lot of folks right now are really having it with this heat and I just unplugged my fridge here just to show you guys how much exactly it was using so the fridge was using about 70 watts and if you have right now I'm only getting 220 watts and I can run this AC Windows AC for about 9 hours just for that 220 watt input so let's say you have a 300 watt panel this is what you'll expect to have it running and it's blowing cold air like I said it's not freezing in here right now it's just enough to beat the heat that's the purpose of this video so I insulated it a little bit more and I'm not gonna tape it all the way down because this is just like I said for testing purposes and there's still gonna be some gap but you know just try to do my best here for reference sake so it's blowing cold air and it's very comfortable in here right now I don't have a uh, you know something to show you guys exactly what the room temp is but it's it's very comfortable inside so here at the moment um, we're using about 500 38 watts 540 
and I'm getting about 300 watts and like I said it's still very cloudy outside uh, every now and then the Sun will peak and at this uh, rate you know we're doing pretty good considering it's very cloudy as you see here so 600 watt don't mind the framing guys those are just woods that I it was just laying around and I just a makeshift um, stand right there but anyways so far we've used one percent of the power station we're only inputting 200 fridge still running the AC is still running pulling in about 560 out of this 2304 watt hour battery so really not bad this if this is all I'm getting I can run this for six hours so right now here the uh, compressor has shut off and only the fridge is using the power and this is the beauty of this guys and look at it I'm inputting 340 watts and using only 57 watts because the compressor shut off now I have time to recharge this battery again and at this rate it's gonna recharge in an hour if the compressor doesn't kick on again if you have a something similar set up like this whether it's a power station or your own DIY battery bank and a, some solar panel uh, this can work and if you want to you know uh, be more efficient you can cover your doors uh, your bathroom doors your your you know room doors just to keep the cool air in I just want to show you guys that so at the moment here uh, we've only used 89 percent and the compressor is still off we're inputting 300 watts fridge is still on still running so the idea here is you're both saving your food you're not wasting it you're not throwing it away and wasting hundreds of dollars of food and at the same time being comfortable in one of your small room and right now it's perfectly doing the job so at this moment it's about 3 34 uh, p.m. it's been running for almost an hour and it's pretty cold inside in the room it's not freezing by any means and like I said I've only got this set up in the medium cool and slow fan and that's the purpose of this is just to beat the heat for as long as you can with whatever you have and right now for one hour this is very impressive I've only used four percent the fridge still running and the AC is under fan mode and I'm inputting about 500 watts so 5% for an hour guys just think about that and right now just want to show you guys the compressor just kicked on and even if that compressor kicked on and I'm getting about 580 right now um, it's basically the AC is basically running under solar condition it's not even using the battery at the moment so if you really have a good sunny day no cloud in the sky and you're inputting about 500 watts for a 5000 BTU window AC and still run your fridge uh, it's a perfect setup by no means this is uh, for off-grid living this is for emergency purposes so what I'm trying to say here guys if you have a something similar setup a 5000 BTU 600 watt panel and about 2000 watt worth of battery power and a pure sign inverter you can do this in case of emergency just like what's happening here in Houston there's still millions of people that doesn't have power unfortunately and this is something you can prepare or use or do in in the future in case something happens you know basically anywhere in the United States right now so I hope you know uh, it's trying to be informative here as much as I can I hope you guys like this video please subscribe and comment down below what you think thank you